All right, what I'm going to show here is a 24FET G-Train controller that I have as my test setup. You can see it here. Uh, this is all being powered off of uh, roughly 49 volts to 6S LiPo batteries together, all running a Crow motor in a 16-inch uh, moped wheel. Well, 16-inch moped tire. I guess technically it's a 20-inch bicycle tire, or bicycle rim. So what I want to show first is the gate signal. What I want to show you here is what happens when you're running at a 100% throttle, or 99% throttle, and 105% throttle setting in the Zhijian controllers. Because uh, it gets a little interesting once you go over 100%. So here we go. This is 99% throttle. We're on a 500 microsecond scale. This ends up being right around a 2 millisecond pulse length with 16 kilohertz pulse width modulation going on in there. If I zoom in on it a little bit, there you can see the pulse width modulation going on. As you'll notice, it doesn't quite make it all the way down to the bottom, whereas if I lower the speed, you'll see the transition. Now you have uh, some space in between there. That's just because of the charging of the FET. We zoom back out. So there we are back at a, uh, a 2 millisecond cycle. So now here's 100%. Pulse width modulation disappears, stays around the 2 millisecond mark. But now here we go. I'm going to go to 105% throttle. Now you probably heard the motor change. But look, there's also now pulse width modulation added back in. And the overall length of the pulse has been extended. It is now running around 22 or 2.2 milliseconds, 2.3 milliseconds longer. That's 105% longer. I'm going to switch it over to 120 now. So here we go. 100% throttle running right around 2 milliseconds. This is 120% throttle. Let's see how much it increases. Yeah, I don't have a good lock on it here. There we go. For those who've wondered what happened going over 100% throttle, well, this is what happens to the gate drive at least. I haven't compared it to a pulse sensor input yet to show you exactly what happens. And now we're just sitting back down. This should be roughly, I'm, I just let up the throttle a little bit. So we're still in PWM in the 120% uh, throttle mode. So you can see it alters the pulse length, of course. Yeah, when we get up to a certain point in the throttle, it just kicks into that high gear, basically, and things change. I'm still not sure what's causing or how it actually functions. I just wanted to let you know that the way I'm measuring this is I have a the positive probe of the scope sitting on the gate of the FET on one of the phases and then the ground is actually sitting on the this is all on the high side so I'm actually sitting on one of the phase outputs so this would be the source side of the FET okay what I've done now is I've set the ground probe up to the controller ground and I have the positive probe of channel A going to the same phase that I was on before and that would be phase A I believe of the controller. Actually I'm not sure it's either phase A or phase C. On the Lion controller, it's typically yellow. And then the uh, B probe, I have it hooked up to the hall sensor of the exact same uh, phase that it corresponds to so that we get a trigger at the same time. And I'm set to trigger on the uh, hall sensor so we can watch what's going on with the waveform. So what we're doing now is watching the trapezoidal output of this controller. So. Here we go, I will show you what is going on at 99% throttle.
So there's the whole waveform that's going on. You can see it's in a coarse pulse width modulation, just like the gate signal is. The, uh, there is a high voltage spike that's occurring here. You see here, this is sitting at about 55 volts. There's a little spike going on over there. If we transition to 100%, we can make it out. Right over here, there's that little spike. I'm going to try and zoom into that when I'm triggering it. Alright, so I got it triggering now off of the A channel to capture that spike. So, Alright, what I'm going to show you now is the different modes that the waveform goes through on the output here when I switch from 99% throttle to 100% throttle and then to 120% throttle finally. So here we go. 99% throttle in pulse width modulation. hundred percent throttle and one hundred twenty percent throttle I'll hold that so you can take a look at it I'm not quite sure what that's doing but it it looks like it drops out of the trapezoidal directly into a square waveform which is kind of bizarre and it also looks like the voltage has gone up a bit yeah, looking up here, it looks like it rises up to about 48 volts there uh, at the peak when you're in 120% mode.